I'll get it as you get it here in just a second. And first up for the Stillwell Indians, number 21 is Curtis Brashear, a senior. Number 22 coming out of the court is Dusty Eubanks. Now number four coming out of the court is Joe Fletcher. Also coming out number 13, which is Roger Miner, a junior. And also number 25, the big guy, Jordan Mink. Now for the Perry Hill Chiefs. Up first is gonna be number 45, Jesse Jackson, the 6'6 senior. Coming up next, number 15 is Aaron Ellison, the 5'8 senior. Now it's number 25, Travis Carter, the six foot junior. Number 12 is Kenneth Weston, a six foot senior. And finally, number 33, Robert Taylor, the six foot seven senior. Barry Hill defeating Fort Gibson last week to get here to play Stillwell. Stillwell beating Fort Gibson during the old Fort Classic earlier in the season. And this is going to be one heck of a matchup right here, right now, as we're set to play. Set to tip it off for the Indians. Curtis Brashear, number 21, and number 45 is Jesse Jackson. The Chiefs in their white uniforms with blue and gold trim. The Indians in their red uniforms with white and black trim. Chiefs will go to our left. Indians will go to the right. The tip off. Controlled by the Indians. The first shot off the glass by number 25. Jordan Mink gets the first two real quick. Traveling right to left, it'll be the Berry Hill Chiefs. They get across half court, stolen away by Jordan Meek, and he'll add up for another two. Four points in the first 15 seconds for Jordan Meek, it's four to nothing. Inbound play by the Chiefs, number 33 gets it into the corner to number 15, back to 33, which is Taylor. Taylor back over to Ellison, back to Taylor, back to Ellison. They still haven't got across half court, back to Taylor. He gets across half court, down in the corner, number 12 puts up a three pointer. Off the back of the rim, rebounded by number 33, Taylor. He puts it in, misses the shot, and a foul on the rebound. From the corner, number 12, Kenneth Weston took the big three-point shot and missed it. The foul called on number 45, Jesse Jackson. His first inbound play goes to Jordan Mink. He'll bring it across half court. Long court pass goes down underneath. Laying up the basketball is number 13. Nothing there. Number 12 with the rebound. And the big guy, Jesse Jackson, with the rebound. Goes the other way for the Chiefs. Number 12 lays it up off the glass. On the breakaway. And Kenneth Weston puts the Chiefs on the board for two. Four to two with 6.53 to go. Jordan Mink brings it across half court for the Indians. To the near side, it goes to number 13. That's Roger Miner. Miner down to the corner, Jordan Meek, and uh, turn around jump shot as the pass goes into number 22, Dusty Eubanks, and he's fouled. And the foul is gonna go against number 12. That'll be his first personal for Kenneth Weston. And the second team foul on the Chiefs. Inbound play to the Indians, way out in front to number four, a long three quarter foot, three point five, and Jordan Meek puts a three pointer in from the corner. Long underneath pass, goes to number 45, Jesse Jackson puts it up easily. Seven to four, Jordan Mink gets across half court, tries to pass it down underneath to number 21, and it's slapped out of bounds. Curtis Crash here loses it. And the Chiefs will have the ball back. Taylor, inbounds the basketball. To Carter, Carter back to Taylor, and the full court press put on by the Indians. Carter. Throws it into the hands of number 13. It gets finally stolen away. Number 15 puts up a 10-foot jump shot. And Aaron Ellison on the board for the Chiefs. Meek quickly across court. Brings it back down inside to number 21. Ball slapped out of his hands and stripped by number 45. Jesse Jackson puts up a little layup. Nothing happened in there. Rebound pulled off by number 22. Dusty Eubanks goes the other way. Down underneath. Number 22 comes in on the layup. Traveled with the basketball. Number 21, Curtis Brashear with a long pass down underneath, passes it back out to number 22. Dusty Eubanks travels with the basketball. Ball stolen, Tony, inbound play. Jesse Jackson loses control. Brashear gets, uh, Joe Fletcher gets it, tips it away to number 21, and he's fouled. Goes for the shot, gets the two. Let's see if the foul is before the shot. 
Yes, it was. Bucket does not count. Robert Taylor guilty of the foul, his first personal. Inbound play to Jordan Meek, out in front. He'll take it down inside, 10-foot jump shot. Lays it in, nothing out there. Gets the rebound off the glass. And Jordan Meek has another two points. Jordan Meek steals the inbound play, puts it off the glass, and has two more. And very quickly, 11 points on the game for Jordan Meek, and the only one to score. It's 11 to 6. The Indians take a timeout. 5.25 to go, 11 to 6 in the first period of play. We're back in 30 seconds on KTFX. All board Red Track. Next stop, Convenience Crossing in three rides. Welcome to Red Track. Cross Telephone's new calling option coming soon. Red Track Star 66 automatic redial, Star 69 automatic callback, and three way calling. You're not railroaded into a monthly service charge. Just pay as you go. As little as 50 cents per use. Remember, it's coming soon. Cross Telephone is a proud supporter of KTFX and high school basketball. Stillwell on top by five. It's 11 to six. Inbound play to the Mary Hill Chiefs. Goes to Taylor, number 33. He'll try to get it across the court himself. Finally gets a long pass down to number 12. It'll go off the mouth and tips the singers. Kenneth Preston lets it go out of bounds and a turnover back into the hands of the Bear, uh, Stillwell Indians. And the fans on the far side of the court, the Indians are coming unglued. Miner gets it across half court. Excuse me, Big. Into the hands of number 13, gets a three-point shot up, off the glass, nothing happened there. Rebound pulled off by number 15, he gets across half court for the Berry Hill. Chiefs down to the corner. It goes to Carter, back to 15, which is Ellison. Ellison to West, back to Ellison, right in the corner to number 25, Carter, puts up a three-pointer, nothing happened in there. Number 12 with the rebound, gives it off underneath to Jesse Jackson, he gets it off the glass, Jeff there, gets his own rebound. The foot the tip goes in by Jesse Jackson. And Jackson has two more. 11 to 8 ball game. They're up by three Indians across half court. Meek at half court. Top of the circle. They'll set it up. Almost steps on the half court line. Good thing he did. To Joe Fresher. Down inside. He goes to Eubanks. Eubanks puts it up. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up. Nothing there. Jackson with the rebound. Breaking across half court. Down underneath. Number 12 with the layup is Kenneth Preston. Quick break across the half court with number 15, Ellison dealt off to Weston. Weston lays it up off the glass. It's 11 to 10. They're back within one. The Chiefs coming back. Mink across the half court, top of the circle to Joe Fletcher. Eubanks down underneath, lays it off the glass. Something there, Jesse Jackson with the rebound and a chance for the Chiefs to lead now. 15, passes it off to Weston again. Bad pass, he can't go and control it. Now to Jesse Jackson, three-pointer from the top of the circle. And they're on top by two. The Chiefs with the three-pointer, Jesse Jackson, number 45 from the top of the circle. It's 13-11, and the Indians find themselves behind with 3.34 to go. <laughs> to Fletcher on the near side, down underneath it goes. Thrown away by Jesse Jackson. Taylor catches the basketball and thrown out of bounds by 15, which is Ellison as he tried to get the ball to Weston down underneath. And the Chiefs will turn it over to the Stillwell Indians again. Inbound the basketball of the Indians will be number 22. Eubanks gets it into Mink. 13-11. They're behind by two where they led by about five or six at one moment. To Fletcher on the far side. Out to number 32 in the game now. Jeremy Gass. Gass down underneath. Passes it back out. To Gass again. Gass down underneath. Puts up a shot from three-point land. And Taylor with the rebound. Now Ellison. Across half court, 12 for the Western with a three-point shot. There's a three-pointer, and they're up 16 to 11 in timeout of five by the Barry Hill Chiefs. Four is coming up at 15 to 11, a five-point lead for the Barry Hill Chiefs in the first timeout of Scott. We're back in 30 seconds with Unforgettable KTFX 102.1. Cool 
listen to the live stream joint Stillwell is. Well, I do. It's Jim Dandy's driving at 411 South 2nd Street in Stillwell. Ever since the new owner moved in in May, Jim Dandy's driving has been proud to say that they've got burgers, shakes, fries, and more. You can call in every day for this daily special that includes mouth-watering choices like tasty burgers, fries, and milkshakes that are out of this world. But what if I don't want to shake, you say? Well, Jim Dandy's driving has got you covered. Try a dip cone or a muck. So call 696-2651. Cross half court against by Mink. Gives it off to number 22. Eubanks, three pointer on the way. Puts up the shot. Nothing happening there. 13 with the rebound. He's fouled on the way back up to the basket. I think this is either going to be Taylor or number 12, Weston, underneath. And the foul's called on Weston, number 12, and it'll be his second personal foul. 16 to 11. Number 13 at the line is Roger Miner for the Indians. First shot is up, in and out. No good. They were up by as much as five or six at one point. They're back down by five right now. The Barry Hill Chiefs coming back in. Coming in the game now is number 35, Josh Floyd. Getting a break is Weston. And at the line is Roger Miner. Chance to make it 12. With just a four-point deficit, he does. He gets that bucket. 16 to 12 ball game. And now breaking across half court, Ellison on the long court pass, gets it across half court pass, down into the corner, he goes to 35, back out to 25, Carter, back to Ellison, top of the circle to set it up. To Carter, back to Ellison, working the basketball around, back out to Taylor, top of the circle, he'll set it up. To Carter on the far side, or excuse me, Ellison, back to Taylor, just inside three-point land, Jesse Jackson with the rebound, stirring away by number 25, and he takes it all the length of the court, lays it up and makes the shot, and a foul is going to be called. Jordan Mink lays it up, gets the two, and the foul is going to be called on number 25. It'll be the first personal foul on uh, Travis Carter for the Berry Hill Chiefs. The two-point score is by Jordan Mink. Or excuse me. Yes, Jordan Mink. He gets the two, goes to the line, has the chance to make it three. Goes off the side of the glass, no good. Rebound pulled off by Taylor. Given into the hands of Ellison. He'll get it across half court. Drives the lane. Puts it up. Jackson with the rebound. Puts it back up and gets the bucket. 18 to 14 now. Chiefs on top of the Indians. Cross court pass long to Joe Fletcher. Lays it up and gets the two. And he's fouled by Jesse Jackson. Little one-handed layup on a little hook shot from down underneath on the baseline as he got the long court pass drove. He's fouled by number 45. The bucket counts. No, it does not count, but the foul does count against Jesse Jackson, his second personal. 18 to 14, inbounds play by the Stillwell Indians. Gets out to Joe Fletcher, now to Meek. Eubanks in the lane, gets back out of the lane. Mink backs it up. Coach calls a play from the bench. Mink calls the play. They set it up. To the near side it goes. To Miner. Miner to the top of the circle. Back to Mink on the far side of the court. He'll drive down into the corner. Now puts a three-pointer on the way. Now it's another one. Jordan Mink has all the points so far for the Stillwell Indians. Inbound play to Taylor. Back to Ellison. Back to Taylor. Cross half court. Slapped out of bounds by Eubanks. 18 to 17, and the Indians have curled within one. Travis Carter, number 25, to inbounded for the Berry Hill Chiefs. He gets it into hands to Ellison. Chop of the circle. They'll work the basketball. Back to Carter. Down into the corner it goes. Number 22 now has the basketball. Stolen away. Brought back in. Now stolen by Joe Fletcher. Lays it up and in. Joe Fletcher for the Indians. The second Indian to score tonight. Now it's 1918. The Indians on top. And a long pass down court. Goes off the fingertips of Cass. For the Stillwell Indians, it goes out of bounds. The Chiefs will get it back on the near side of the court. 19 to 18, Indians by one. And bounce play goes to Ellison. Ellison to Carter. Back to Ellison, top of the circle. I do not have 22's name and number, but he is in the game for the Chiefs. Into the corner, he goes to number 35, Floyd. Back out cross court, pass to Ellison. Back over to Carter, back to Ellison. 32 seconds left in the first period of play. They're down by one. They're playing for the final shot. Ellison on the far side of the court. Back to the nearest, the left side to the Carter. Back to Ellison. Down to the corner to number 22, which I believe is a misprint here is Josh Oaks. To Carter. Back to Ellison. 13 seconds left on the clock. 
Down inside to number 35, puts it up off the glass, and it looks like it's going to be Meek with the Miner with the uh, rebound. No bucket there. Five seconds on the clock. Miner puts it up off the side of the rim. Nothing happening there. Off the fingertips of number 15, Ellison. It'll go out of bounds. The buzzer will go off, and that'll be the end of the first period of play. And the Steelwell Indians are back on top, 19 to 18. More coming up on Unforgettable KTFX 102.1. When you want the best barbecue sauce in the world, homemade pies and a full line of pizza all in one place, stop by Cane's Barbecue, located 18 miles east of Tahlequah and 7 miles west of Stillwell in the Rocky Mountain community. Cane's Barbecue has always had a selection for almost everyone's dining needs, but now Cane's Barbecue has something for absolutely everyone. Every Saturday night, Cane's Barbecue will be serving up an all-you-can-eat shrimp oil. The new Cajun shrimp oil's got everything from shrimp and taters to hot links and corn on the cob, all cooked up in the best Cajun spices. So come on into Cane's Barbecue for an evening of family fun dining. I wouldn't do for a big old hamburger right now. Barbecue like that? Mm, yeah. 19 to 18, the score. And the Stillwell Indians were on top by as much as six. Barry Hill Chief spotted back in the first period of play, and the Stillwell Indians had to make up some ground to get it back, and they did just that. Now they're up by one. And get this, Jordan Meek, number 25, the junior, has 16 points in the first period of play. Roger Miner has one from two at the line, and Joe Fletcher has two from the field, a total of 19 for the Stillwell Indians. And here we go, set to start the second period of play. Barry Hill will have the possession. Carter into Ellison. Back to Carter on the far side of the court. In the corner, it goes to Oaks. Oaks back out to Carter. Back to Ellison on the near side of the court. Down into the corner, it goes to number 35, Floyd. Floyd gets the ball batted out of his hands and out of bounds by number 21 in the game now, which is Curtis Brashear, one of the starters who come back in. And now coming back in is number 12, Weston. And number 35, Floyd gets a break. Inbound play. Carter gets it in to Weston in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Nails it. And just like that, they're up 21 to 19. Floyd comes in off the bench and gets a three-pointer. Now here's Miner with a three-pointer, and he nails one. The other end of the court, Miner gets a big three-pointer. Ellison trying to get across half court. He does. And a hammer by Joel Fletcher as he fouls him on the wrist, reaching in, trying to stop the basketball away. And that'll be, I believe, the first personal on Joel Fletcher for the Stillwell Indians. 16 fouls now on the Berry Hill Chiefs. One team foul. The first one just happened right there for the Stillwell Indians on Joe Fletcher. Inbound play. Ellison to Carter. Or rather the other way around. Carter to Ellison. Now back to Carter. Top of the circle. Back to Ellison. Carter on the right side. He'll drive the baseline. Nothing happened there. Down underneath it goes to Floyd. Floyd back out to Ellison. Back to Carter. Into the corner. It goes to Oaks. Back out to Carter. Now he'll drive to the free throw line. Back out to Ellison. Down to the corner of the floor, and there's nothing happening there. Defense is covering up all the gaps. Back out to Ellison, to Carter on the far side. Moving the basketball around now. They're on the right side. Now back to Carter, out in front. Back to uh, Oaks inside. Oh, stolen away on a pass down inside. Stolen by Eubanks. He'll drive the length of the court. Put up a high spot, an eight-foot jump shot. Off the glass and rim, nothing there. On the rebound, a foul has been committed. Can't tell whether it's against the Indians or the Chiefs. And it's going to go against number 22, Ferry Hill, I believe. Let's see. Nope, they're going to call that on Eubanks. Number 22, Dusty Eubanks. It'll be his first personal second team foul on the Stillwell Indians. Inbound play. Carter gets it into Ellison. Back to Carter. And the full court press now put on by the Stillwell Indians. Long court pass gets down the floor and they get it across half court. Indians coming down to cover up real quickly. Weston on the far side. Down inside it goes to Carter. Now to Jackson. Jackson puts up a shot. He's fouled by number 22, Dessa, uh, Joe Eubanks. Dusty Eubanks. Or Joe Fletcher, one or the other. And they're going to call it on Joe Fletcher. Second personal for Joe Fletcher. Six team fouls now. A lot of three team fouls now for the Steelwell Indians. Barry Hill Chiefs are home. Steelwell Indians are guests on the scoreboard. Inbound play to Ellison. Ten-foot jump shot on the way. Off the foot of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled off by Curtis Brashear, number 21 for the Steelwell Indians. Into Meek's hands, across half court, Meek goes from top of the circle, he'll drive the baseline all the way down, and he's stepped by number 45 and fouled. And it's number 45, Jesse Jackson, guilty of the foul, it'll be his third personal in the first half of play. Taylor set to come back in. Seventh team foul now for the Berry Hill Chiefs. 
Jordan Meek in the act of shooting has 16 points on the night from the field. 0 for 1 at the line, and he is at the line again for 1 for 1. One on one, I should say. And he gets the first one. It's 23 to 21. They pulls away for the... Makes it a two-point lead. Number 33, Robert Taylor, the 6'7 junior or senior back in the game. Jesse Jackson gets a break. Second shot by Munt. Meek on the way. Inbound play goes to Ellison. Quickly across half court. Try to break the press. Gets it across half court. Looking for setup. Gets it to Carter on the near side. Cross court pass. It goes to Weston. Weston covered up. Back to Ellison. Now it goes to Carter. Down in the corner on the near side. He tries to drive and put up a shot. Into the hands of Meek. Overshot the basketball. Tears off. Layup. Very easy layup by Miner as he gets the dish off by Meek and puts it in for two. Miner with five points now for the Stillwell Indians. Now across half court it goes. Weston gets it across half court. Now back to Ellison. Ellison to Carter down to the right side, down to the corner. To Floyd. Back out to uh, Ellison. Ellison will drive the free throw line back out to Weston in the near side corner to Floyd. Floyd cross court pass to Ellison. Back out in front he brings it. They'll work it. Right side of the lane. To Carter back to Ellison. Back to uh, Carter again on the far side of the court. Back out to Ellison. Now on the near side up top, it goes to Weston. Now on the near side of the corner, it goes to Floyd. Back to Weston, out in front. Back to Floyd, down in the corner. Passes it down inside to Taylor. Taylor, turn around, left hook shot, lays it in. Robert Taylor with his first two of the night. Very quickly across half court. It'll be Meek, loses the basketball, gives it off to Eubank, passes it off into the corner to Miner. Miner puts it up for two. Nothing happening there. Rebound pulled off by Miner for a Meek, and Meek puts it up for two on the easy return layup. And I'm going to run out of room on my score sheet for Meek tonight, I guarantee it. Inbound play goes to Taylor, back to Ellison, to Carter, across half court, back to Taylor. Taylor into the corner, it goes to Floor, Reston, three-pointer on the way, good. And a second three-pointer by Weston. It's 28 to 26. Here's the Indians leading, getting across the half court. Down inside the push here. He puts the shot up. He traveled with the basketball. Shuffled the feet before he went to the basket. The dish off came from Meek in the corner to Rashir down underneath the bucket at the baseline. He shuffled his feet, turned around, jump shot off the glass. And he traveled. They'll turn it over to the Chiefs. Full court press put on by the Indians. Taylor into Weston. Back to Taylor. Back to Weston. Trying to get it across half court to Carter, they do. Down to Floyd, down underneath. He goes up, puts it off the glass. Nothing there. And the ball goes off the hands of Floyd and out of bounds. Ghost does not like the call. I don't think it was right either. I think it went off of Eubanks' hand, but the Indians get it back. 28 to 26, they're up by two. They have the ball. Inbound play to Mink from Eubanks. Mink gets across half court. Gives it over to Miner. Miner back to meet in the corner. Three-point lane drives the lane underneath. Here's Brashear with a little five-footer. Puts it up. Nothing there. Miner with the rebound. Puts it back in for two. And they're up by four, 30 to 26. The breakaway stolen by Meek as the inbound play is stolen. He passes away, lays it up off the glass. And here's number 23 to put the rebound back up. Nothing happening there. 23, I don't have his name at the moment. It's cross half court. It goes by Ellison on the rebound. Gets it down to the corner to Weston. Nothing happening there. And a foul underneath the bucket as Taylor goes up with the rebound and tries to put it back in. And a foul is called. And it's going to be against one of the Chiefs. And it's against number 33, Taylor, on the back of somebody on the rebound. So that'll be the second personal on Taylor. Number 23 is C.J. Morrison, a senior that is in the game for the Berry Hill Chiefs. And he just comes out. And number 25, Carter, comes back in. Shot by Bashir is up and good. It is now a 31 to 26, a five point lead for the Stillwell Indians in their red uniform. On my right goal, Bashir has another shot from the line, a one-on-one -on -one situation. Second one is in and good. Now a six-point lead. Chiefs inbound the ball. Taylor to Ellison. Back to Taylor. Back to Ellison. Loses dribble. Back to Taylor. Taylor, long court pass. Gets it across half court just in time. The time was running out for him to get it across there. Back to Ellison. To Weston. Down in the corner goes to Carter. Carter's covered up all the way out there. Ellison top of the circle to Weston. Down underneath is Floyd. Tries to get the pass. Nothing there. Carter drives the lane. Puts it up. And it's Miner with the rebound for the Indians. Gives off to Meek, three point minutes and 11 seconds in the first half of play. Meek from the top of the circle. 
Class five, set it up. Here we go. Drives to the near side of the court. Back out to number 23, Morrison. Ball tipped out of bounds on pass to Minor, and it goes out of the bounds off the hands of Carter, number 25, for the Chiefs. Minor will inbound the basketball from the far side of the court. Gets it into Morrison. Over to Meek, number 25 on the near side. Down inside at number 15, tries to toss it underneath. It goes off the hands of Floyd, number 35. They still will have it under their own basket. Number 15, Jeff Bixheather, who is a junior for the Stillwell Indians. Inbounds it to Minor in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Comes off the glass. Something happened in there. Rebounded by and put up off the glass by number 23, C.J. Morrison. He gets an easy two. Morrison covering uh, C.J. or covering Taylor real heavily. Now Ellison gets the dish off by Taylor. Takes it all the way in. A 10-foot jump shot puts it up and in for two. The score of 34-28. Here's Minor. Long pass from uh, Mink. Gets an easy jump to shot. And he gets through with a two. Inbound play to Ellison, back to Taylor. Taylor back to Ellison, looking to get it across half court. He does get it across half court, passes it down inside to Floyd. Floyd back to Ellison, out in front, top of the circle, will set it up. To Weston, far side, down to the corner of Carter, back to Weston, back to Ellison. Back to Weston, Weston will drive, no, he'll pass it back in the corner to Carter. Nowhere to go, back out to Weston, they'll move the ball around. Down inside, it goes to Taylor, goes up against three of them and lays it in off the glass. Good job, Robert Taylor, the 6'7 senior to get two more. Meek brings it across half court. 151 to go in the first half. Sets it up to Miner. Back to Meek, top of the circle. Indians with the basketball. A drive inside. Big shot goes off the glass. This one is going to be for Brett Curtis. Fresh here gets a dish shot by number 23, Morrison, underneath. Lays it off the glass. He's fouled. No, he charged it. They call him for the charge. So Curtis Brashear, uh, Brashear guilty of the charge. And they'll turn it over. It's 36 to 30, a six-point lead for the Steelwell Indians. Barry Hill Chiefs inbound the basketball with 140 to go in the half. Halftime stats and all that coming up. Halftime festivities plus all our sponsors. Cross half court. Ellison to Weston. To Carter back to Weston. Back to Ellison. Now to Floyd in the opposite corner. Back to Ellison out in front. Down into the corner on the far side to Carter. All the way on top of the circle it goes to Ellison. Puts up a three-pointer off the glass and rim. Nothing there. Rebound pulled off by number 32 in the game now is Jeremy Gass. Gass gets it all the way down court to Miner. Miner back out there. Eubanks. Ball stolen. Stolen right back by Mink. Mink back to Eubanks. Three-pointer on the way. Off the edge of the glass. Mink gets the rebound. And it goes out of bounds off the fingertips of Mink. Ellison, or number 25, Carter drove in there to try to break up that play, and Meek trying to dribble the basketball, got the rebound way out on the right side in the corner, tries to dribble the basketball, and it goes, dribbles it out of bounds right on the line, turned it over. Taylor inbounds the basketball to Ellison. He calls a play. 36 to 30, Indians on top of the Chiefs. Ellison top of the circle to, far, to Floyd, back to Ellison, to Weston on the far side, down in the corner to Carter, down underneath it's Floyd, now here's Taylor with a little lazy shot. Everybody converts on Floyd, he dished it off to Taylor, Taylor gets another two. Meek, cross half court, goes to Miner, back to Meek, they'll play for the final shot, to Eubanks on the far side of the court, cross court pass to Miner. Miner down underneath to 15, puts it up off the glass, he's fouled. Did not get the bucket, I don't believe. And he's fouled by Weston, Kenneth Weston, the six-foot junior. The third personal on Weston. The score, 36 to 32, a four-point lead for the Stillwell Indians. And believe me, after what we've seen in the first half of play, four points is not enough. A 20-point lead might be comfortable, but you never can tell with these three-point shooters. At the line, number 15 puts the first shot up off the front of the rim, no good. And number 15, I'm with Jeff Bigfeather. We'll have another shot. The second one is in and out and no good. And rebounding the basketball is Gas, Jeremy Gas, number 32 for the Steelwell Indians. And he travels with the basketball as he goes to the floor. They turn it over. Beverly Hill Chiefs, Taylor inbounds to Ellison. They'll slow it down. 24 seconds. They want to play for a final shot. Pull within one. Don't blame them right there. Ellison from the top of the circle actually is at the half court circle. Back over to Weston. They will play for the last shot, 11 seconds, down to 10. 
Back to Weston. Now they'll start moving. Cross court pass. It goes to Ellison. Three pointer on the way. No good off the glass. Lamb. Three quarter court pass. No good at the buzzer. Meek with the rebound just kind of alley oops it, but almost hit the uh, scoreboard down underneath. And at halftime, Stillwell Indians are on top of the Perry Hill Chiefs, 36 to 32. And it's time for the Subway halftime show. We'll be back in 60 seconds on Unforgettable KTFX 102.1. When you're on the go before a ball game and want to satisfy your monster hunger, stop in to Subway of Steelwell and have the sandwich artist Mike or Robin Longshore make you a sandwich. Subway makes sandwiches just the way you want. Choose from the 6-inch or 12-inch subs, or you can choose from one of the great Subway value meals. Create any sandwich with your choice of toppings. So when you're on the go, stop in to Subway, perfect for before or after any ball game. Unforgettable KTFX 102.1. Hi there, Luke Kelly with you as we get coverage tonight for the Berry Hill Chiefs and the Steelwell Indians. The Indians on top right now, 36-32 at halftime. But it wasn't always that way. They started out the game and broke away real quick. Jordan Meek getting a first four or six or eight points up before anybody got any score. And then they caught back up, Berry Hill Chiefs, that is, on a lot of work they had to do to catch up. They managed to do it, tied it up, then took the lead. And then the Steelwell Indians were behind by about six points, and they had to catch back up and try to pull away, and they did that very thing, and now the uh, Stillwell Indians are up by six at halftime, 36 to 32 on a seesaw battle, all the stats and everything is coming up in two minutes on Unforgettable KTFX 102.1. How would you like to be driving a 1995 Sonata with low mileage and a great price? Well, for $39.95, Jason and his friendly staff can set you up. For 26 years, the people at Bruner's Auto Sales have been working to get you a great car at a price you can afford. Credit problems? Well, at Bruner's Auto Sales, that's no problem. They'll take any trade in and set you up with in-house financing. And by the way, congratulations to all the Stillwell teams on a great season. Remember, that's Bruner's Auto Sales, located at 1020 North 2nd Street in Stillwell. Or call 696-3280 for information. So walk on in and drive on out with Bruner's auto sales all aboard red track next stop convenience crossing and free rides welcome to red track off telephone's new calling option coming soon red track star 66 automatic redact star 69 automatic callback and three-way calling you're not railroaded into a monthly service charge just pay as you go as little as 50 cents per use remember it's coming soon Crosstown Phone is a proud supporter of KTFX and high school basketball. When you want the best barbecue sauce in the world, homemade pies and a full line of pizza all in one place, stop by Kane's Barbecue, located 18 miles east of Tahlequah and 7 miles west of Stillwell in the Rocky Mountain community. Kane's Barbecue has always had a selection for almost every. North 2nd Street in Stillwell. Or call 696-3280 for information. So walk on in and drive on out with Bruner's Auto Sales. Inbound play to start the second and a half. Comes off the hands of Eubanks as the Stillwell Indians will have the ball. He gives it in to Mink. Mink to Fletcher. Back to Eubanks. Stop of the free throw line. Gives it off the minor in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. And they score very quickly. 39-32. to And minor not wasting any time to get the quick three-pointer. Ellison gets across half court to Weston. They're traveling to our right now. Back out to uh, Ellison, or Weston, back out to Ellison, top of the circle. 
to Carter on the far side. Back to uh, Ellison. To Weston on the near side. Back to Ellison. Back to Carter, down underneath. He's going to have to kick it back out. Pass it down underneath, and underneath, underneath the bucket. It's headed off to West. Jesse Jackson gets the easy layup. He gets the feet up. It was fed to Robert Taylor, and then to Jesse Jackson for the easy two. Mink gets it across half court in a hurry. Underneath it goes to Brashear. Turn around, jump shot. Off the glass, in and out of the rim, no good. Pulled off by Weston on the rebound. It'll go the other way with the Chiefs, 39 to 34, a five-point lead. Weston gets across half court, gives it off to Ellison. Down to Carter in the corner on the far side of the court. Back to Ellison, back out to Weston. Near side of the court in the corner to uh, Taylor. Back out to Weston, back to Ellison. Ellison is uh, kind of posted at the left-hand side of the free throw line out in front. Weston on the near side, right side of the free throw line. Now Ellison will drive, and he'll give it off to Weston. Weston to Taylor down in the corner. To Carter down as far in the corner underneath and back out to Weston. Now to Jesse Jackson who comes out to help. There's nowhere to go. And finally, Weston puts up a three-pointer and scores. Kenneth Weston. Kenneth Weston has his third three-pointer. Mink gets to the cross half court to Miner. Down underneath to Brush here. Back to Miner. Three-point land. No, he get back out. Almost stolen away by Weston. Gives it down inside to Brush here. Passes underneath. Joe Fletcher gets the dish off. And he gets an easy toe and a layup. Cross half court, Ellison, the Weston on the Chiefs. Chiefs have the basketball. The Taylor down underneath. Carter drives the drive underneath, pass it away. Into the hands of Meek. And it's a two on one. A one on two, I should say. Meek drives all the way up off the glass, puts it up, nothing there. And Miner puts the layup back in. 45 to 37 now. Miner with another two. Correct that, 43 to 37, a six point lead. Cross half court, Weston to Ellison. To Carter, down inside to Justin Jackson, back out to Tara Weston, number 12, puts a three-pointer up and nails another one. Four for five tonight. Quick breakaway by Miner. He goes up and gets the bucket. On a breakaway, long pass, uh, dish off by uh, Bashir. And Miner gets an easy two and answers it. 45 to 40, it's a five-point lead. Cross half court, down to the corner to Taylor, to Carter, back to Taylor. Out in front it goes to Ellison at the top of the circle, to Weston. Down inside to Jesse Jackson, passes it away underneath to Carter. Easy layup off the glass, and Carter gets his first two of the game. Mink across half court for the Stillwell Indians. Gives it off to Eubanks. She'll drive the lane and put it up. Nothing there off the foot of the rim. Rebound pulled out by Jesse Jackson. The Chiefs will go the other direction. Long half court pass to uh, Weston. Slapped out of his hands, back into the hands of Jesse Jackson. Down underneath to Taylor. There's one out. It's pulled off by Miner. Miner passes it away to Mink, and Mink loses the basketball. They give off to Ellison. He'll get back the other way as Jesse Jackson recovers that. Now to Weston on the near side. Jackson for the three-pointer from the far in front. And Eubanks with the rebound. Passes it away to Joe Fletcher. And the full court brush and fast break is on. Now they'll slow it down at half court. To Miner, to Eubanks. Down underneath, Brashear off the glass. Gets a dish shot from Eubanks. And Brashear gets his first two of the night. It's 47-42, back up five points. The Chiefs cross half court. Ellison to the near side. It goes to Weston. Back to Ellison on the left side. Down to the corner to Carter on the far side. To Ellison. Back to Weston on the near side. To Jeff, uh, Jesse Jackson down underneath. Pass it away to Carter. And he's denied. Stop by Joe Fletcher. Mink brings it across half court. Drives all the way down to the corner. He's covered up by two and he's fouled. Foul's going to go on Carter if he reaches in to get the basketball. The players all say he had a jump ball, but he's fouled. Travis Carter guilty of his second personal foul. 47-42. First team foul. First foul, for that matter, in the second half of play. Fletcher to bring it in from the far side of the court. Long half court pass in. Goes to Joe uh, Eubanks. He'll lay it in off the glass. Does not get the bucket. Eubanks, or rather Jesse Jackson, gets the rebound for the Chiefs. They'll go the other way. To Weston, to Carter, back to Weston. Down to the corner it goes to Ellison. Back out to uh, Weston. Back into the corner it goes to Ellison. Cross court pass to Carter. Down underneath it goes to Taylor. Back out to Carter. Inside to Jesse Jackson. Back out. They move the ball around. 15 puts it up in the air for three. Nothing there. Rebound pulled off by Taylor. Number 33 puts it up. And he's denied by Curtis Fletcher as he struck the basketball out of his hands. Mink gets it across half court for the Indians. 
Over to Fletcher, back to Meek. Coach calling in a play. Back down to the corner of the near side to Fletcher. Cross court, it goes to Miner. To Eubanks, out at the free throw line. He'll put it up off the glass. Denied by Jesse Jackson. And a foul is called. This call is going to go against 45. Jesse Jackson, and he's fouled down underneath on the basketball. It looked like a clean stuff, but maybe it was body contact that I couldn't see. The fourth personal foul of Jesse Jackson. And shooting two shots will be Eubanks as he was in the act of shooting on the play. Here's Eubanks, the first shot, up and good. And he has his first score of the night. One for one from the line. Coming in number 35 is Floyd to replace Jesse Jackson. Jackson will get a break. Eubanks at the line, 48-42 now, make it seven. Yes, he does. 49 to 42 and a seven point lead as Eubanks gets their second one, makes it two for two. The Chiefs to inbound the basketball and they're behind by seven with 2.50 to go in the third. Taylor into Ellison. Ellison will bring it across half court. Gives off to Weston. Weston way down to the corner to Floyd, back out to Weston, back to Ellison from the left side, out in front. Now Weston on the right side, out in front. Back underneath the Floyd, passes it away to number 25, Carter, back out to Floyd, down inside it goes to Taylor. The ball's tipped out of uh, Taylor's hands back into Weston's. He comes across half court to get it, but touched by an Indian. To Ellison, and now a foul away from the basketball. It's called down underneath, and it's gonna go against number 23, an elbow was thrown. And number 23 is guilty of the foul. That is C.J. Morrison, his first personal for the Stillwell Indians. And the first team foul in the second half for the Indians. Here we go with the inbounds play. It's Weston, tries to lay it up off the glass. Nothing there. Goes off the hands of number 13, Miner. And they will try to inbound the basketball again. The inbound play into Taylor. In the corner goes to Ellison, to Carter, back out to Ellison, now to Weston, top of the circle, three-point shot on the way, off the side of the rim, no good, and it's Miner with the rebound. Miner gives off to Mink. Mink will bring it across half court, gets the inbound play from Coach, tells him what to set up, to Miner on the far side. Down inside it goes to Brashear, down to 23 Morrison, back out to Mink. Mink from the free throw line, no, he's gonna drive all the way in, lay it up off the glass, and an easy two. Mink with 22 on the night, his first score in the third period of play. Now across half court, Weston down to the corner, back out to Weston, back out to uh, Ellison. In the other corner is Carter, puts up a 10-foot jump shot from the baseline, pulled off by Mink, and he's fouled by number 12, Weston. And I believe that's going to be Kenneth Weston's fourth personal foul. Also with four fouls is Jesse Jackson on this uh, Barry Hill Chief team coming in to replace the number 22, Josh Oaks. And Weston will get a break. Inbound play, Mink. Gets across half court. Drives in the corner, number nine, 13 minor. Errors one out, tries for a three pointer. Goes off the fingertip of number 35, Floyd, as it slapped him on the leg. And he had to try and save it as it was going out of bounds, but he couldn't do it. Miner to inbound it for the still uh, Indians. Gets it all the way out to half court to C.J. Morrison. In the corner to Miner. Back out to Meek. Three-pointer on the way for Meek from the near side. Off the rim and no good. Back into the hands of Meek. Stolen away by number 22, Oaks. And about jump ball is called as Oaks and Rashir tied up. Possession arrow will go to the Berry Hill Chiefs. 51 to 42. A nine-point lead now with 109 to go in the third period of play for the Stillwell Indians and Barry Hill fighting to get back in this game. 106 to go in the fir third period of play. Ellison across half court to Carter, to Oaks, back to Carter, back to Ellison. Or down underneath it goes to Oaks. Back out to Floyd, back to Ellison, to Carter. Down in the other corner to Oaks, tries to pass it down inside, tipped out of way and out of bounds. By number 35. Fletcher got the tip, 35 touched it last, it went out of bounds as he tried to save the basketball. Went off his hands, went out of bounds, and still well Indians will have it back, 51 to 42, a nine point lead. They can extend that for the biggest lead of the game. They led by as much as nine in the first period of play, they lead by as much as nine again. Meek, they'll set it up. 
Pick is set up. He'll drive down to the corner to Fletcher. Back to Mink on the near side of the court. He'll take it out top of the circle. Looks for help. He loses his dribble. Back to Fletcher. Down underneath Bashir. Bashir will lay it up off the glass. Lay it in for two. Curtis Bashir, couple of fancy moves, and puts it off the glass just underneath the bucket from the baseline. Cross half court. Ellison. To Carter. Back to Ellison. Back to Carter. Back to Ellison. They set up on right and left side of the lane, the top of the circle. Carter finally drives, and he tries to put one up. Down underneath it goes at the buzzer. No shot. So after the third period of play, 53-42, we're back at 30 seconds. An unforgettable KTFX 102.1. When you want the best barbecue sauce in the world, homemade pies and a full line of pizza all in one place, stop by Kane's Barbecue, located 18 miles east of Tahlequah and 7 miles west of Stillwell in the Rocky Mountain community. Kane's Barbecue has always had a selection for almost everyone's dining needs, but now Kane's Barbecue has something for absolutely everyone. Every Saturday night, Kane's Barbecue will be serving up an all-you-can-eat shrimp oil. The new Cajun shrimp oil's got everything from shrimp and taters to hot links and corn on the cob, all cooked up in the best Cajun spices. So come on into Kane's Barbecue for an evening of family fun dining. We are back to score 53 to 42, and an 11-point lead for the Stillwell Indians. And uh, I hope there's a few folks back in Stillwell listening because it looks like most of them are here. <laughs> They're all the cross court on the other side of the court for me. I'm on the north side of the court. They are on the south side of the court, and the grandstands are full. I guarantee you, maybe two or three chairs empty, but they're at the snack bar right now. Stillwell will have the ball in the alternating possession, 53 to 42 now in the fourth period. Eubanks into Meek. He's guarded by Ellison. Down on the inside to Brashear. Turn around jump shot. Three foot out. Off the rim, off the glass. Throws back through for two. Brashear now with six points. And traveling with the basketball on the inbound play is number 15, which is Aaron Ellison. He got the inbounds pass and shuffled his feet and turns it over, 55 to 42, a 13 point lead, and they get the ball back, Stillwell does, that is, underneath of their own basket, the Indians have control. And they're up by 13 with 7.47 to go. Fletcher to inbound it. Gets it into Miner in the corner. Miner out to Eubanks, back to Miner in the corner, down inside to Fletcher, turn around, five foot out jump shot, Eubanks, or Jassy Jackson back in the game, with the rebound, and he gets fouled from behind. And the foul is going to be against Eubanks, number 22. Dusty Eubanks guilty of his second personal. The second team foul for the Steelwell Indians in the second half of play. Three team fouls on the Berry Hill Chiefs in the second half of play. Ellison across half court to Carter on the near side. Back out to Ellison, top of the circle. To Weston. In the other corner, it goes to Floyd. Back out to Weston. Back to Ellison. Ellison back to Weston, out the left-hand side of the lane. Back to Ellison. He puts it up from three-point land, and it goes in for three. Good job by Aaron Ellison. They moved the basketball around. He finally ever backed off of him. He got the ball and put it up. Cross half court. Miner dishes it down underneath to uh, Brashear. Turns around. Jump shot off the glass. No good. And it's Terrell Fletcher with the rebound. Puts it up. Jesse Jackson gets the rebound. They go the other way. And it's Ellison losing control of the basketball. No, that's Carter. Finally gets it back. Weston. Down to the corner goes to Floyd, back to Weston, top of the circle, three-pointer on the way, he nails one. Kenneth Weston with his fifth three-pointer. 55 to 48, and they're back within seven. Coach Paul to play for the Steelwell Indians. Meeks crosses half court, gives it off to Miner on the far side. Sets up a pick with Brashear, down underneath the dish off. The Brashear lays it off the glass for two. 57 to 48, Brashear with two more. He's got eight for the night. Plus two from the line for ten. Ellison, cross half court for the Chiefs, gives to Carter to corner. Now to Weston on the near side. Cross court pass goes down in the corner to uh, Floyd, back out to uh, Weston. Back to Ellison, back to Weston. Down underneath to Carter with about a 10 foot shot, airs it out, and the rebound pulled off by 22 Eubanks. But there's a foul underneath, and it's going to be called on Floyd. So Josh Floyd, number 35, guilty of the foul, and turn it over back to the Stillwell Indians. Eubanks inbounds to Meek. He's covered by Ellison. Ellison will try to hold on to him as he easily gets across half court. Meek will drive all the way into the free throw line, puts up a little shot up off the glass, and Eubanks with the rebound, and he's fouled by number 12, Weston. Weston on the back on that rebound, 57 to 48. 
And that is going to go against number 12, Kenneth Weston, his fifth team for fifth personal foul, and he'll have to sit down. Five three-pointers for him tonight for 15, plus two uh, two-pointers. And he finishes tonight with five fouls, with 5.57 to go in the game, and 19 points on the night. Great job by Kenneth Weston, number 12, a six-foot junior for the Berry Hill Chiefs. Coach finally calling in number 33, Taylor. And Weston will sit down. 57 to 48, Weston done for the night, 5.57 to go. 57 to 48 again, I say. Stillwell on top of the Berry Hill Chiefs. Stillwell has the basketball. Miner brings it inside to Brashear down underneath. Easy layup off the glass, off the rim, rather. Circled the rim and fell in. Brashear has 10 now from the field. Ellison, cross half court to Carter, back to Ellison. Now on the far side it goes, down underneath to 35 Floyd, and here's Taylor with the layup, and he's fouled. Fouled by Fletcher underneath. And that'll be, I believe, another foul on Fletcher. Yes, they call it on Fletcher. It'll be his third personal foul, and a timeout is called. This time it's called by the Stillwell Indians, 59 to 48, an 11-point lead. We're back in 30 seconds on Unforgettable KTFX 102.1. Square Deal Music and Sound in Muskogee has it all. Band instruments, string instruments, drums, amps, keyboards, sound systems, and the attachments. Plus, music books and some of the best experts in the area. These guys play music for a living. But the most important of all for you is Square Deal Music and Sound has the lowest prices in town. Call Mike and the gang at Square Deal Music today at 683-1799. That's 683-1799. Free estimates for churches and schools at Square Deal Music, Muskogee. 59 to 48, 540 to go in the game. Number 33, Taylor, will be at the line. That's uh, Travis, or excuse me, Robert Taylor. Fouled by number four, Fletcher. First shot is up, in and out, no good. And that, by the way, folks, is the first free throw taken tonight by the Berry Hill Chiefs. 540 to go in the game, and they take their first free throw. Second one is on the way, and this one is good. Now coming in is number 13 into the game. 13 is Nathan Ivey, and he'll give number 35 Josh Floyd a break. Eubanks inbounds it to Make. Full court press put on by the Berry Hill Chiefs. Make beats Ellison across half the court. Ellison will set it up defensively. Meek will set it up offensively, drives to the far side. Now back to the top of the circle, drives to the near side, and everybody sets up. Passes it down inside to Eubanks, turn around, nice little move, puts the shot up, but he's fouled. Eubanks doesn't get the bucket, but it got a nice bounce pass by Mink, and then turned around trying to put it in. This foul's going to go on catch number 33, which is Robert Taylor, guilty of his third personal. 59 to 49, it's a 10-point lead. Eubanks at the line, first shot is good. Dusty Eubanks hasn't scored from the field. But he's three for three. It's a 60 to 49 ball game with 5:21 to go in the fourth period. Eubanks at the line, bounces the basketball, sets to take the next shot, and he makes it. Makes it a 12 point lead, the biggest lead of the game. Ellison gets across half court, gives the ball off to Taylor for the Chiefs. Taylor will drive all the way in the lane. A little three foot jump shot does not go in, and Joe Fletcher gets the rebound. Actually, it was Bashir tipping it out of the hands of Jackson. They give it off to Meek. They'll set it up and bring it across half court. To the near side. Meek drives. Drives all the way down the baseline. Little five, eight foot jump shot. Puts it up. Nothing happened in there. And Jackson with the rebound. Jackson has four fouls. He has to be careful not to foul. Long court pass down to Carter across half court. To number 13, Ivy. Ivy gives it off to uh, number 15, Ellison. And Ellison tries to pass it to uh, Jesse Jackson. Jesse moves. And the ball went away from him as he tried to pass it. And a mistake there, costly, a 12-point lead, 61 to 49. And here come the Indians across half court. Mink to Miner. Miner will drive to the near side, gives to Miner, uh, Mink back over here. Now here's a pass to the inside. It goes to uh, Eubanks, and Eubanks gets a little three or four foot jump shot, one arm kind of layup. And Eubanks has his first score from the field tonight. Ellison brings it across half court to Carter to Taylor at the top of the circle. To Ivy, down underneath to Jesse Jackson, passes it away, and it gets slapped away by Meek. A one-on-two situation, passes it back out to Miner. Miner puts it up just inside three-point land for two. And Miner has another two from the field tonight. 
And Meek has been held within like two points in this second half of play. Or four points in the second half of play. Here's Ivy. Down inside to Jesse Jackson. Jackson lays it up off the glass. Nothing there. Taylor lays it in with the left hand and Oak on the rebound. And Robert Taylor for the Chiefs has another two points. Timeout is going to be called by the Berry Hill Chiefs. They want to talk about it. 65 51, a 14 point lead for the Indians over the Chiefs. More coming up on Unforgettable. KTFX 102.1. Wayne's Pets Unlimited in the Arrowhead Mall has a new secret word. If you say Cougar Racing, you'll get 10% off. Wayne's Pets Unlimited still has all those great animals from salt and freshwater fish, reptiles, to all those fuzzy little creatures that we all love. And of course, the talking monkey. Wayne's Pets Unlimited is family owned and operated and is the only store with knowledge and heart. So get your pets and pet stuff. Tell them you heard Cougar Racing on KTFX and get 10% off at Wayne's Pets Unlimited in the Arrowhead Mall here in Muskogee. We are back, 65-51, and the Steelwell Indians are pulling away a little bit with a 14-point lead. The Berry Hill Chiefs want to take a timeout and talk about it. Already fouling out of the game is number 12, Kenneth Weston, with 5.57 to go in his fourth and final period. On the floor, Jesse Jackson, number 45, has four fouls. Robert Taylor has three, and Joe Fletcher for the Indians has three. Indians uh, will have the inbounds played. Eubanks to do the honors, number 22. Looking for the long court pass, bounce pass into Brashear, back to Eubanks. He'll try to get it across half court, gives it back to Meek. Meek blows away, Ellison gets across half court. It's a four on five, Ellison finally gets down here. Gives it over to Miner. Miner looks for somewhere to drill. Pick set up by Bashir. Now it's Meek in the corner on the near side. Nothing happened in there. They set it up again. Meek drives all the way down inside. Gives it up to Eubank. Gets the layup. And uh, a walking foul is called on Eubank. They'll go the other direction. He walked with the basketball. Got the bucket, but no good. So inbound play goes to Ellison. Ellison gets it in. Passes it down to the corner of the corner. And the ball stolen away. And finally, a uh, foul is called as the ball stolen away by Mink, and I'm not sure who that foul is going to be called on. It's going to be called on 13, and Jesse Jackson, very verbal right there. I'm surprised he didn't get called for a technical on that. Nathan Ivey guilty of his first foul. 65 to 51, 312 to go, a 14-point lead, and Jordan Mink, number 25 at the line. First shot is up off the glass and no good on the one-on-one -on -one situation. The rebound pulled off by Jesse Jackson. Long court pass to Carter. Stolen by Eubanks for the Stillwell Indians. Here's Meyer in the corner. Passes it down inside to Brashear. Brashear passes it back out to Eubanks. He'll drive all the way down to the grace line off the glass and in. Just to Eubanks, four points on the night now. Here comes Ivy down the other end of the court. Passes it down inside to Jesse Jackson. Jesse looking for help. Gets it down underneath off the glass and in. And another score for Jesse Jackson. Meek inbound play. Gets it across half court. 67-53 to score. Nathan Ivey goes out to cover. Brashear comes out. Now they'll work the clock and pass the basketball around. They're pretty good at this. I've seen them do it against the four Gibson Tigers. But Meek's going to drive all the way down the lane. Straight up over the basket. Up over Jesse Jackson and get the bucket. And Jordan Meek with another point. Or two. Ivy gets it across half court, down inside to Jesse Jackson, to Taylor, down inside the lane, goes up off the glass, he gets the easy two. Taylor with the layup. Now timeout is called by the coach. Rusty Bowden, Rusty Rowden wants to talk to his Barry Hill Chiefs, 69 to 55, it's still a 14 point lead, and we're back, 209 left on the clock, in just 30 seconds of unforgettable KTFX 102.1. Board Red Track. Next stop, Convenience Crossing and Free Rides. Welcome to Red Track. Cross Telephone's new calling option coming soon. Red Track Star 66 automatic readback, Star 69 automatic callback, and three way calling. You're not railroaded into a monthly service charge. Just pay as you go. As little as 50 cents per use. Remember, it's coming soon. Cross Telephone is a proud supporter of KTFX and high school basketball. Broadcast remote services provided each week on KTFX by Cross Telephone, and we appreciate that very, very highly. 69 to 55, the Barry Hill Chiefs coach wants to tell his guys, look, settle down, get some three pointers. We got 14 points to make up. We got to make it up right now. We got two minutes and eight seconds left on the clock. 
as Steelwell coach at the same time is telling his guys, look, we got a 14-point lead. Don't let it get out of control. Don't relax. It's not over yet. This can all change in two minutes. We saw that happen with the uh, Fort Gibson Lady Tigers and the Steelwell Lady Indians here just a little bit ago, and Lady Indians won it inside the last two minutes. Steelwell with the basketball. Eubanks to inbound. It gets it into Fletcher. Back to Eubanks. Full court press put on. Back to uh, Mink. Mink will get it across half court. And it's a three-on-one situation as everybody's covering Mink. He does a good job of dribbling. So Eubanks back to Mink, and they're going to work the clock down. Mink will drive all the way down inside. They'll let him go to the basket, lay it up off the glass, and Mink will have two more. <coughs> Ellison brings it across half court. And I can smell the rain outside, weather in the area. To Taylor, Carter, all the way cross court pass to Ellison. To Ivy out in front. Back to Ellison. He'll drive down, put about a 10 foot shot up. Big arch because he had to get over everybody. Goes over the backboard, out of bounds. It'll be the uh, Steelwell Indians basketball. If we get some severe weather tonight, you'll hear it first here on KTFX, and we'll interrupt the game board if it's necessary. Inbound play, goes to Mink, now to Fletcher, back to the way to Brashear, lays it up off the glass, he's fouled by Jesse Jackson, and he gets the bucket. Jackson will be out of the game with 1.22 to go. The foul going to be called on number 45, Jesse Jackson, his fifth and final, with 1.22 to go in the game, and he is out. His fifth and final foul, Josh Floyd to cover. Number 35, the 62 junior comes in the game, and the B string comes in. Number 14, Jeremy Forkiller for Stillwell Indians. Number 10 in the game now is Sundown Wady. Brashear at the line. Number 14 again in the game is Jeremy Forkiller. Number 20 now in the game is Nathan Eubanks, the junior. Brashear off the front of the glass, no good. And uh, Eubanks almost rebounds it. Taylor comes up with it for the Chiefs. Number 12 also in the game is Michael Muskrat. Fast, bounce pass down inside, stolen away by Muskrat, as I just mentioned his name. Actually, that was four killer. Gets across half court. Here's Nathan Eubanks, puts it up off the glass, airs it out. Didn't hit the rim. Ball goes out of bounds off the hands of one of the Stillwell Indians. Again, Jeremy four killer in the game. Come down waiting, Nathan Eubanks. Number 12 is Michael Muskrat. And now Brashear gets his break. And Jeremy Gass back in the game. Ellison across half court. Drives the baseline. Balls off of his own, bounces it off his own leg. And here's number 10 break away against two on one, and he gets it. Actually, a one on two situation. And send down Weenie. Beats him down the court, lays it up off the glass for an easy two. 75 to 55, and this one is over with 38 seconds to go. Passed inside to Carter, puts it up off the glass. It's an easy two, but there's a foul call before the shot. And it's going to be against the white team. The white uniforms, I believe, here. Yes, against player number 12. Now, this is going to go against Stillwell. Number 12, you'll be of the foul. It's Michael Muskrat, his first personal in the game. Barry Hill Chiefs will inbound the basketball. You can put this in a win column for Stillwell. Inbound play goes into the corner to number 10 and off his hands, and they turn it over. Out of bounds. Stillwell will get it back. 34.5 seconds, a 20 point lead, 75 to 55. And the Berry Hill Chiefs fans begin to leave the room. Stillwell fans starting to go now as well. Sundown Wadey brings it across half court. Here's Nathan I uh, Eubanks with a three-point shot, puts it up, and he's on the rebound. Number 13, which is Ivy, is fouled from behind by number 10, Sundown Wadey, I believe. Actually, they call the foul on number 13. There was two guys there. There is no number 13 in for the Steelwell Indians, so it's going to go against Sundown Wadey. I was correct. His first personal. Here's Ivy. Gets it across half court. In the corner, he puts up a three-pointer. Nothing happened there. It goes out of bounds off the hands of number 35, Josh Floyd, as he put up a three-pointer from the corner, and Ivy can't get it to go. 13.2 seconds, and all it's out is a matter of time now. Sundown Wadey called him out. Passes it down inside. Into the hands of number 33, goes out to number 12 in the corner. Five seconds on the clock. Nathan puts it up off the two-point line, and nothing happened in there. And Byron's going to run out. It's 75 to 55. 75 to 55, your final score. 
the Stillwell Indians beating the Berry Hill Chiefs. We're back in just two minutes with all the stats. Stay it here at KTFX 102.1. When you're on the go before a ball game and 